I trust you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to walk up to two or three people and tell them your life is about to change dramatically. Prophesy it. Outside, make sure you participate. Those online, participate. Your life is about to change dramatically. Say it like you're not joking. Your life is about to change dramatically. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Amen. Welcome to our miracle service. This is miracle service for September. And prophetically and very strangely, we're doing it in October. When God begins to move like this, it's important that our spirits are open to discern what it is that he's saying. There are no mistakes with him. It is only when our perceptions are not clear enough to receive. It may look like a coincidence, but in every working of God, there is wisdom. Hallelujah. So I welcome every one of us. Those inside, outside, thank you so much for coming. Those who have come from far, you will never be disappointed. And all those following us online, on all our media platforms, we welcome you. You are part of us. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. Pay attention to the word. Oftentimes, when people come, um, they just want to begin to see manifestation, prophecy, and so on and so forth. But every time you come before god it's important that you listen to the word the bible says they came to jesus to hear and be healed to hear and be healed it's only a herbalist who constructs charms and doesn't care whether or not you are participating in the process at the end of it he hands you a leaf with substances and says go it is done but with god there must be participation. I want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray. There's a lot that God will do tonight. And um, I want us to conserve time. I'm seeing how that we can finish on time. In fact, much more than we have, we have been doing in the miracle services. And I ask God for grace. And so his grace is sufficient for us tonight. Amen. I trust God for a very quick walk. And please let's cooperate with what he wants to do so that we can live here on time praise god i want to speak um very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity of god's word the integrity the dependability the reliability of god's word when it comes to exploits in the kingdom please listen the principal channel, listen to me please, the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith. The principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith. Are we together now? And your faith is inactive until the word of God brings it alive. And so I want you to please pay attention. There are so many believers who expect God to step in and bring healing miracles. I was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared. And, um, but they're not surprised, only grateful. I would be surprised if I were the doer. Are we together? The integrity of God's word. The Bible has this to say. It says heaven and earth, listen, shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. You know why they will pass away? Because the word created them both. Are we together? Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of the Lord abides forever. The principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God. Please listen. The principal channel for committing God is not your tears. Your tears move God, but they cannot commit him. Your lamentation can move God. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. 
but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit god's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of god i need you to understand this not a man of god he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing god is the word of god whenever we talk about faith it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of god expression and i'll just charge us a little it's important for us to know that the word of god can be trusted the scripture that we read this bible look up please this bible that we read the bible says it was inspired of the holy ghost are we together holy men wrote it as they were moved by the spirit so regardless of the imperfection of the translators regardless of the imperfection of the writers the sovereignty of god still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but jesus will only ask them believers thou thy faith has given this to you let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that i got from bishop oedipo and uh, this this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful this is what he said faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get your desired result faith is sharing responsibilities with god as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will live your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication are we together 
the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting it's an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and sat within himself if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service then that is a miracle service indeed it has never been about the inability of god to step into people's lives please listen there is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of god to step in no you would be lying are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdue kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah 
in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you no know, paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart he says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment oh lord what is the secret to end circles of failure it's like as soon as i'm recovering from one i'm finding another and then you search in god's word who suffered like me what is the key lord nothing is working in my life no job no marriage no money no peace what should i do oh there are enemies in my life how do i deal with them i've prayed 
and then the holy ghost takes you to psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it will be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh. i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what he says it says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. There are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body. There are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation. You are welcome. Who else will you run to? Let me just say something. When I was, when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation, 
the lord said the following things to me and i just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you're just standing you're watching the person oh in the name of jesus if there's any dead person here be healed and you look at him and you're wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you're wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me and I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods, native doctors, that's why I say I don't believe this applies to Koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. 
the guy is not exactly a herbalist he's not exactly a pastor he just has this gift you cannot mix let me tell you something god has said give us psalm 16 psalm 16 verse 4 give us verse 4 psalm 16 verse 4 i want you to read the a part one to read their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god that's what i was looking for what will happen to them their sorrow it will look let me tell you please hear me i've never gone to a herbalist but i've ministered to plenty people who have gone to them you will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist but it's my father that said we should go as a family well i know that there is a limit to which you can control that but i'm telling you you can insist and refuse the bible says their sorrows i know what i'm saying in africa many people who say oh, these people they are just young people they don't know what they are saying the bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god so you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money, let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says, the price for this pregnancy is 25,000. And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money what did he tell him he said your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of god it's not for sale it's priceless so stop mixing god and witch doctors you cannot mix god and witch doctor are we together if you depend on god depend on him if you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums i can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day now the challenge with these kind of people is they just come and say ah now i will never be involved in those kind of things again lord my hands are washed they think that's all to it they think they are free so somebody says i want to get married to you two weeks he says i don't know what is wrong but the day i said i'll get married to you somebody warned me 
I say, if I catch you near my wife again. So the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Too. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight but I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance there are there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirit they may manifest as different things but i give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them you are not just being hated for nothing you are only one out of seven billion people what makes people hate you everywhere you go they hate you there is a spirit it says for as a body without a spirit is dead there must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem and tonight in the name of jesus christ whatever will not let you go must leave you there are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor hear me as i'm speaking to you do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious there are well-meaning people but these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go because it does not take discussion it takes the power of god to put them where they belong are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of god you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say god visit me what you mean is please oh god help Ejimi to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised here people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time Now, the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge, but do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You are seated outside. You are seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like his faith. But it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray, and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling, or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. No your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request you don't just tell the ushers let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's no you are dropping it and waving it goodbye and saying i dropped it because you will never return to me listen there is an attitude the miracle is in the attitude not just in the act the attitude lord as i drop this request i wave you goodbye I cannot drop it and write it again next year next 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 month are we together you are coming here trusting god for an impartation and an anointing you don't sit down carelessly you are listening carefully as the word of god is coming your spirit is open 
and that you believe that by the time the grace is shared i'm walking out of here a different person are we together you came here sick oh god this sickness i've been praying about it but today let me tell you do you know you can decide the day of your miracle mm -hmm. the woman with the issue of blood said today jacob held on to the angel right and said i won't let you go he would have let him go and say okay the next time you come just inform me you can make it today when i was praying for this meeting i said god i have one request please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony that was my prayer for you i've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of god is available the mercy of god is here to help you your part is to believe god enough and respond in faith are we together every part of the meeting god is going to do a quick work right now but i want you to believe please be tired of where you are oh god from january till now i've not moved forward i have to be sincere with myself give me an encounter that by now between now and october miracle service let me return with tears of joy in my eyes there are two kinds of tears a man can cry tears of sorrow and tears of joy it says you have turned my mourning into dancing everything i'm telling you to do is what i'm doing myself don't think i just came here empty-handed i came here with my heart full of expectation i mentioned my own request before god and cried my heart to him so I, i'm only a vessel but i'm also a benefactor because by and large i will still listen to this message and i will receive every prophetic word the trouble with us is you may think i'm a worker oh i'm, I'm protocol i'm media i am a minister i am this and not receive you see how the leaders in this house whenever they are here they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open that's that's the attitude are we together don't sit down arguing and say madam how are you how do you feel that's not your business focus on what god is doing and insist the devil in these kinds of meetings hear me satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word they are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see when these demons and these spirits leave they have to search for a life for continuity and you can't stand neutral there are others who come here there are probably people sitting inside and outside you were invited but your heart is already here cynical will god really bless them all these men of god serve and all this their nonsense talk you see that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle don't come to god passively you must come to him intentionally are we together how many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle how many of us believe there is a place in the word of god for your case you believe your case is not new there is a place for the word of god how many of you believe that it is within the power of god to wipe your tears and give you a testimony and how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith please jump up on your feet and begin to pray rise up on your feet and begin to pray lord i place a demand lord i place a demand lord i place a demand whether you are inside outside i place a demand online I place a demand on your integrity. I place a demand on your favor. I place a demand on your wisdom. I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata katali bata. Shem proto sobari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. 
God, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. I'm tired of failure. Tired of defeat. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, oh God. Nobody is getting fully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak complete around your house. Pray, pray, pray. Of me, thank me. You took away the chain. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day directions for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit. 
behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete basala bakaria da badada. Shepete kete berete kos. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shabakata lakatebash. Embrekata katabarakata. Shebarete sedada debakata. Lekete brekete bash. Dekarete tesh. Dekareke tesh. Dekareke tesh. Shabaradaba. Inside, outside. Lekete brekete bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. they are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every covenant. 
every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hand at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus I command it to leave are you ready now one two three i command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost stagnation your destiny stagnation lives your life e para para e que te que te que te e que te que tu só tu manda stagnation aleluia i'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward i don't know who you are but every time you want to make progress you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now i stretch my hands i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free, set you free. hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go parato soto barikete ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands i want to pray for you from my heart something is about to leave you now sisters lift your hands kalandera tokotosi every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or knowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now ta, 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 ta. in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free, be free, be free. Go to take a take. Be free, be free, inside and outside. I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. your hands hallelujah I saw something fly above and the Lord said it's the spirit of death the plague of death there are families here every year someone must die every every year somebody must die there are families here 
every season somebody must be sick i want to end cycles death does not just mean cessation from living cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 Challenge every hallelujah hallelujah we are going to be fast but i'm going to walk around there is a reason why i walk around listen you don't have to touch me but let me tell you as surely as the god of heaven is in this place when i come close to you if there is any spirit that is holding your destiny it must leave you believe me believe me there is an anointing you don't have to make the place rowdy I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much you can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, 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 you when there is any spirit in that fire right now right now right now right now right now every spirit 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 right now you must go 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 right now right now every spirit 
of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? Came here, the spirit of the Lord told me to pray for the person. Please, who is that person? Let's pray. And then the sec don't don't come here, please, if you are not the person. The second person I want to pray for. There is someone here. You've been having severe abdominal pain. Right here. Right here. You are a lady. This pain has been too much. Right here. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you right now. You're the okay. Stand here. I want to pray for you right now. You came for a miracle service. Lift your hands. I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses. This is financial losses. For a while, I don't need to bring you. God is going to bring you out right now. Lord, whoever that person is right now, that's the person I'm talking about. A miracle comes for you. A miracle comes for you. I'm seeing a lady here. Looks like a small girl. You see spirits in the night. This is like witches. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now. Right now. Right now. Who is by the name John? There's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John. 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 Who is John, please? Are you John? Your name is John. Ah, there's another John. You are wearing Nigerian shirt. John, you are wearing Nigerian shirt. Is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing we have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside, but I'm still touching people inside. That's the same way I can be inside touching you. Don't, don't think because you are standing far, you have a disadvantage of sound, but that's the only disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage to your spirit. Are we together? Look at me. Where are you coming from? From Quara State. Quara State. For this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading. And all of a sudden, he starts talking like a madman. Just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here. But in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room. In seven days, God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough. Listen. I will not touch you. The power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles. 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 Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not fall here. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from, but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it i don't know who that person is here this book. i stand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and i prophesy as the lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, 
I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute, all those whose family has been tied down maritally, fire is coming upon those spirits right now. Right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free. Be free, completely free. Be completely free. Be completely free. The Lord is showing me something. I'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children i know she may not I, I i don't know if she understands him or not but i'm looking at her and the lord is saying i should wait with her when it's time to go in i should carry her and meet her two children inside that's what god is telling me that i should carry her someone ask her ah uh, evelyn 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 and who Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. Tap, guy. It's your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe your in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children. Where are they? Come. Did you tell me? Because uh -uh. Mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman. Uh, where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person? Go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is alright. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at Northgate. At Northgate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot. And the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not. I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see. It's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you. From that day, things will dry up. You have. It's, it's not like you are careless. But if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse. It takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. You can be suffering for decades. But when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Jaws. You came from Jaws. 
you came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss. University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from my to the university the system is not I'm, I'm i'm going to pray for you because the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle <laughs> waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a, this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write, but you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Yes, I have an issue. I'm sick. Diagnosed with leukemia. Leukemia. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is still alive. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season in the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come, let me for you. This in you come. Kai, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? Can Ajina? Can you hear? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus father I lay my hands on this gentleman be free right now in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling I, I is it your sister 
Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh. There was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk here. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against the family. And the Lord is saying let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm, I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next thing. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, Mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama? How many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born? Yes, You are sir. married? Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Uh, really like 20, 25 years. 25 years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me I say it I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names I place a demand on my office not my fate my office not my fate my office not my fate and I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again, whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again, whoever placed any cause, Against anyone, shake it, 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 a racket, it, it, a baroque, it, it, a it, it, a brota, it, 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 it,
will ever place any curse on anyone. May the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Ah. Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I'll lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus, that grace, the anointing, that grace, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing. Please, you go. Just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come. You join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen, we are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something. Please, if you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you are elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I, please, some of you that are coming are not elderly. Please go back. If you are elderly, elderly is very clear. If you are elderly, we know. Elderly means you have a grown-up child. Please, please, let's save ourselves any embarrassment. Hallelujah. Worship team, you will lead us through a series of powerful worship. Now, if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request, please let them do it very fast. Because I want us to pray here now. Make sure you drop your request. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, I pray for these ones. As I pray for you, I don't know what the situation is. But I'm placing a demand by the God of heaven, inside and outside, that there will be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Heal the sick, oh God. And let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Amazing As I pray for you, go back to your seat. Ow. You're the God of wonders. Amazing Ow. God. Be you're free the now. God of I miracles. I release your destiny. I release. Amazing God, say, you're the God of wonder. 
Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. Yeah. Name of Jesus. Amazing yeah. God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing. You're the God, say God. For you just go back and check Amazing yourself. We don't God, have the time for testimonies. You're now. the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God. You're the God of wonder. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God. You're the God of wonder. Amazing God. You're the Miracle, amen. You are God, say, God, a God of wonder, amazing. Amazing, amazing, out, 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 out of amazing God. You are the God of miracle, miracles, amazing God. Amazing! 
You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare, decree and declare that, my that my request upon this altar, upon this altar must become Shabara Katabara. Jekete Kurata Katabara. Let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become, must become my testimony. No matter how many. I believe, I believe that God is able, God is able to, turn to turn them into testimonies. Into now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands, mention your request, mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please, you've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. Are you getting what I'm saying now? 
please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were and watch the god of wonders go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you go ahead and pray those online make sure that you follow us we are praying on the request now I don't care what your challenge is I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following I want you to know that the God of all flesh we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place and we are praying on your request Father give your people testimonies Give them turnaround miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Shebaka para toto do brada da. Rekete kete kete para da 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 da. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. To you. We spray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O oh God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them send for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. Release our faith in your power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels, ministry, spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in the word of prophecy. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. You've heard me say it again. This for me is the most powerful part of the service. I know it doesn't look like it. But this is where everybody gets to receive. So I want you, we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as I pray. Are you ready now? The kind of favor you have not seen, I pray for you. You receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes. In the name of Jesus, may it be your portion. May it be your portion in October. Strange favor. Hallelujah. Help them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help them. I don't know what the devil has taken from you. The Bible says if a thief be caught, he will pay tenfold. I command between now and miracle service october receive supernatural restoration receive supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration everything that comes close to you but your hand cannot touch it you see it you know it should be yours but your hand cannot touch it by faith 
I connect it to your hand. I connect it to your hand by faith. Every man that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayers. You have been moving around in one place. You try to move forward, but you cannot make progress. In October, I command your destiny. I command your spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey, I put their spirits under pressure. I put their spirits under pressure. They must respond to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and Darius could not sleep. He woke up the next day and says, Oh, Daniel. As your God delivered you I say it again I don't know who must show up for you and has deliberately refused to frustrate you tonight I put pressure upon their spirit everything that is alive grows therefore whatever has refused to grow in your life I command it to grow in October Hallelujah. October has the number 10. And 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle. I don't know what it is that has refused to end. And I don't know what has refused to begin. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. I say it again. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. that lady please i i say it again i end what must end and i begin what must begin anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but return with a miracle job Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to, I don't care who needs to attend to you, he's a human being. In the name of Jesus, may the God of all flesh compel them to respond. There is a cause that makes people poor there are principles people break but there are spirits that help people become poor anything called poverty around your vicinity in the name that is above all names this is the month you will rise above it this is the month you will rise above it hear me all the seeds you have been sowing all the tithes you have been tithing, every foul prophet's offering that has refused to bring that harvest by prophecy the bible says a time will come when the reaper and the sower it says the reaper will overtake the sower i command that kind of miracle in your life now an answer to your giving speedily an answer to your giving speedily Two more prayers the anointing it takes for the next level of your life 
for every level there is a grace there is an unction i pray for you the anointing that must land upon your head to grant you grace to rise receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now throughout this year your family members have not testified i force them to testify this month i force them to testify this month whatever has made you cry you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open and you have said lord why won't this thing work this month let it work this month by wisdom let it work by favor let it work by divine direction let it work god take secretary let it must work it must work by the anointing of the holy ghost it must work hallelujah these hands you are lifting whatever has stopped them from holding blessings i put an anointing upon them may they magnetize all kinds of blessings i put an anointing on your hand let it call blessings there is a kind of honor that god can put upon a man that can separate him from his equals in this month strange honor may it be yours strange honor may it be yours everything that has destroyed your prayer life you try to pray and you cannot pray this month you will pray more than all the months combined Go take a parata. Take it, take it, take it, take it. This month, you will pray more than every month. This An appetite for the word of God. An appetite for the study of scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for every business here. Shabarakatobana in the name of jesus although it is said this recession may this month bring your greatest harvest believe me as i pray for you may this month bring your greatest harvest may somebody see you and just like you i say it again may destiny help us see you and like you no strings attached may someone see your family and like your family listen i believe in the ministry of help many of us don't like it without the help of god you will die like a chicken there are men who are anointed and sent to come and help you when david was in adulam some people came and helped him I pray for you again. Your helper, may he show up this month. May they show up this month. Helping you to get jobs. Helping you to connect for marriage. Helping your business. Helping your family. Please look at me. Koinonia is a place where you meet the Holy Ghost. I met him and he changed my life. Tonight, the Holy Ghost wants to reintroduce himself to people in this place. For many of you do not know, you hear people talk about Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. He's the one behind the progress of this ministry he's the one behind the anointing he's the one behind the prosperity if you stop chasing the things you are looking for i tell you if you find him he's worth more than gold 
is the answer to what you are looking for the Holy Ghost and Paul prayed and said may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ he said the, the love of God and the koinonia the fellowship the participation the marriage the oneness the intercourse of the spirit who is the Holy Ghost to you please listen until now who or what is the Holy Spirit to you do you know him do you even believe in his person do you believe in his ministry do you believe that the Holy Ghost can take you from where you are and produce a sign do you know that the Holy Ghost took Bezalel and made a wonder out of him do you know the Holy Ghost took Saul and produced a king out of him do you know the Holy Ghost took Deborah and made a wonder out of her do you know the Holy Ghost turned Jesus the word into a baby he made God become a baby he is that powerful he made God to become a baby and put him in the womb of a woman without surgery do you know the Holy Ghost made Saul to become the wonder that he became The Holy Ghost made Archbishop Benson Idahosa took him the Holy Ghost took Smith Wigglesworth from a plumber and made an apostle of faith out of him the Holy Ghost took a weak woman like Catherine Kuhlman and made a wonder out of her the Holy Ghost took an ordinary businessman called Walmart and made him among the world's first six rich people or the, the, the world 50 the richest 50 people what can the holy ghost not do in your life why do you limit him why do you underestimate his power i watched katrin kuman grow and she said i don't want to live five minutes without the holy ghost i didn't understand what she was saying you are the power in me listen to this song you are the fire at work in me you are my ever-present helper holy spirit i adore listen hear me it's not normal to see an ordinary human being doing extraordinary things can you not see that there is a force that can produce faith out of a man what makes some people not doubt what makes others strong we have neglected him we are looking for prosperity we are looking for power we are looking for titles he is the one jesus listen jesus said i can do nothing of my own but as i see my father the holy ghost directed jesus christ and brought him to a place of power and the Bible says the spirit and the bride say come do you realize listen to me that you can do nothing without him oh if you could hear his voice many things in your life will come into order oh if you could understand his leading certain sicknesses will dissolve and die out of your life oh if you would know his power all the people that come to sleep with you in the night and oppress you will go forever if you know him where the spirit of the lord is my bible says there is liberty there cannot be bondage bondage is an absence of his presence and now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty hallelujah when the holy ghost was about to leave jesus christ jesus cried in gethsemane he said what can i do without you holy spirit and he said father if it be thy will if there is another method you can walk without taking the spirit from me 
and the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence oh lord take not your holy spirit from me restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit within me there is something called the joy of salvation when you live a sick free life it brings the joy of salvation when you walk in prosperity it brings the joy of salvation there are many of us today you are confident you are going to heaven tomorrow you do not even know again the Holy Ghost you have said oh Lord can you open the Bible to me oh yes the Bible says Jesus said and when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth he will teach you he will bring to your remembrance he said I have many things to share with you but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth the Bible calls him the spirit of truth he won't lie to you he won't lie to you if he tells you your life is blessed he can make you become blessed if he tells you you will marry he can make you get married tonight we are going to cry and say Holy Ghost reintroduce yourself to me I've known you as the one who so 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 and so person walks with I like you to pray I know many of you don't understand the gravity of this prayer I tell you the knowledge of the spirit will end many things in your life so go ahead and cry and say Holy Ghost you revealed yourself to Catherine Kuman ladies a woman shook her generation how about you let my ears hear your voice holy spirit pray if it is true that you speak unto men let my ears hear your voice my sheep hear my voice accurate perception in the spirit holy ghost and confusion in my life until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be turned into a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine will be turned into a forest go ahead and pray and say holy ghost turn my wilderness turn my wilderness give me the joy of salvation let me understand what it means to fellowship with the holy ghost let me know what it means to hear your voice let me know what it means to walk in intimacy with you i'm tired of religion pray and say lord i'm tired of pretending like i'm hearing you when i'm not i'm tired of pretending like you are leading me say lord i've had different messages but i'm not satisfied i know you lead men you can end confusion in a man's life trust him he can lead you to destiny he can lead you to your wife he can lead you to your husband he can lead you to a miracle i believe his ministry he can show you what is wrong in your family he can tell you what to do i'm telling you he will tell you what keys to use isaiah 30 and thou shalt hear a voice from behind thee saying this is the way walk ye in it and as a result you will find rest for your souls he can teach you
Holy Ghost, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Give us encounters. Reveal yourself. The fellowship of the Spirit. The fellowship of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Listen. Brothers and sisters. When you find him. You will stop wasting your time in life. Because he'll lead you and guide you. To the city of above, he'll lead and guide you to the place of destiny. That's his ministry. He'll lead you and guide you to the city of above. It doesn't matter what your background is. He'll lead you and guide you to a place of destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the reason why I was born. Are you listening to me? Are you ready to pray this prayer? Say, Lord, I'm tired of escorting men in destiny. The reason why I was born. He told Jeremiah, he said, before you were born, while you were still in your mother's womb, I called you and ordained you to be a prophet. Hear me, friends. Until you discover your place in destiny, you will never find fulfillment. Are you listening to me? We are going to pray and say, Lord, can you show me? I went to the dam, ABU dam, many times and I was crying. I said, Lord, what is my purpose for living I didn't come because my father and my mother came together why did somebody die this morning and it was not me I am an answer to the prayer point of someone somebody's prayer point necessitated my delivery I will not die I owe my generation a debt that I must pay I like you to pray and for the first time in your life for some of you cry and say lord why am i here men of greatness ask this question this is what begins to introduce the ministry of the spirit pray say lord am i just here to marry a man am i just here to wait until a man gives me meaning am i just here to wait until i have children lift your voice and cry Say, Lord, what is my reason for living? You didn't just bring me to be a student. Let me know the joy of finding my place in life. Let me know the joy of finding my assignment. Please pray. Because the Holy Ghost is going to be revealing to men. Jesus, in Luke chapter 4 from verse 17. He opened the book as it was given to him and he read the prophecy that Isaiah wrote the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor to set the captives free to bind up the brokenhearted to declare the acceptable year of the Lord he said today is this scripture fulfilled the Bible says for this purpose for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest for what purpose were you made manifest Jeremiah 33 verse 3 call on to me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me 
call unto me and I will answer I will answer I will show you great and mighty things about your life about your future about your destiny Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know something has happened to you tonight? See, listen to me. We are programming you to be great. This is a programming. We are giving you a mindset. It's a programming. The end is predictable. It's a programming. The Bible says, listen. It said there is no man who warreth, who will entangle himself with civilian affairs. He says, he that desires mastery. He said, if a man desires mastery, yet is he not crowned until he strives lawfully. There are many vessels in the house of God. Vessels of gold. Vessels of silver. Vessels of clay. Hallelujah. He said, son of man, what sees thou? And he said, he sees four horns. These horns scattered around Judah. They are the ones who go and cause wickedness. And he said, behold, I send you carpenters. And we are the carpenters that God is sending. To chisel and put things in order. You may not see the effect now. You may think it's just a sacrifice for nothing but it's a programming that will bring you into a realm of glory where you will become usable and then in it you will find rest hallelujah hallelujah we come from different families different backgrounds different spiritual exposures our job is to bring you into the truth of God's word regardless of what has been your mindset before hear me friends sacrifice is a language in the spirit it endorses you for greatness gather unto me my people they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice This is to make you rise you will not notice the changes but when you step out you will see the beauty and the glory of God upon your life and then you will know you will know that you have been alive and walking with the Spirit if you stay with him in the secret he will not disappoint you in the open I assure you and the Bible says Obadiah 21 saviors shall arise they shall come out of zion and they shall judge the mount of esau you are that savior you are that savior i wish the lord can show you a glimpse of your future if you saw that there is no sacrifice you cannot pay that life of unnecessary or convenience at this realm it will not make you a champion I won't deceive you the person who loves you is the one who will tell you the truth at any cost I will not deceive you generals did not become generals just by wishing this is the pathway and the Bible says men of David ordinary men 
and they came to him in the cave of Adullam and David made warriors out of them to the point that one of them was such a warrior the sword would cleave to his hand and even when he turned it upside down the sword would not fall and he said the sword of the spirit which is the word of God we are making you a manifestation of the word of God we are not producing members out of you we are producing citizens of the kingdom are you listening to me this is an apostolic ministry we train you and then God announces you and sends you some of you here will be bishops of parishes we cannot afford to do a half big job on you you will cost catastrophe there are many of you that the revival of nations are upon your shoulders and now that we have the privilege we will drill you until iron sharpens iron and then when you step out you will be a sign and a wonder these prayers and this exposure to the word and the spirit will prune out different things from your life bad habits immaturity suddenly you will find out the bible says strong meat belongs to them who are of full age who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern good and evil how amiable are your ways O lord the bible says he showed his way to moses this is the way of the lord we are teaching you how to be miracle workers it's enough to come and lay hands it's enough to come and say look come for miracles but we will do that during the miracle service are you listening to me you are not the one in need of miracles you are the one that god is preparing so that he will send and the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards and then as a result will project in light and bear fruit upwards he said he that bears fruit john 15 my father will prune so god prunes those who are already bearing fruit in agric we call it pruning we remove the unnecessary leaves and all the resistances and then the tree is able to grow again For the kingdom of god is like a little seed planted in the earth and then it grows and it becomes a big tree this is what god is producing out of your life you may look weak you may look beggarly god did not send us to gather people who are already made no our job is that you come as you are and by the agency of the word of god and the spirit there is a translation in you Many of you are coming under the disguise of education. You are coming under the disguise of different things. And God is bringing you and summoning you. And one day you will blow the shofar and the nations will stand and listen to you. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? That's the testimony of some of you looking at me. You know that if God does not help you, the prophecies of your uncles over your life will come to pass just as they are predicted. That you will be a useless boy that you'll be a useless girl but while you are going the holy ghost intercepts and say not so not when i am here come and i will make you we will have the opportunity to watch some of you on tv one day we will have the opportunity to see many of you with your cathedrals and parishes and we will be proud that we invested the word of god we won't let you look at us tomorrow and said you are wicked people you didn't train us well we prayed for five minutes you were afraid of our feelings no sir you can insult me now there's no problem you will tell me thank you in the future there is a path so that when you see another person who claims to be entering the power of god through another means you can discern by your experience that this is not of god hallelujah 
there is a pathway that leads to glory and power when you see a man who is not walking in that path you know that his result is questionable because that id card in the spirit is not there hallelujah come and i will make you we're going to pray again hallelujah we're going to pray if you're tired lie down sleep whatever you want to do do it here because to sleep in the presence of god is better than going to go and jump around somewhere samuel was sleeping but he was near the ark and he had the voice so it's better to sleep at least in the presence of god he will pray tonight we love you too much to leave you the way you are tears may come out of your eyes but it's a track record in the spirit you may forget about it but one day God will tell you it is an account of this sacrifice. I have sworn by my name you cannot but be great. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Edifieth himself. And line upon line. In the next few minutes we will pray. Luke 18 verse 1. And he spake this parable unto them. To the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 17 pray without ceasing hallelujah the bible says quicken us and we will call upon your name elijah was a man of like passion like us but he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years and Elijah said there will be no rain except by my word and after three and a half years he went to pray the Bible says he went and prayed once and sent his servant and he said I do not see a sign he said I won't give up I will pray again go back and check he said there is no sign he said why don't we give up he said no generals don't do it that way pray again I count him faithful I know I'm not praying to an idol and at the seventh time he came back he said master I didn't see much I only saw a feast because he delivers with his mighty right hand and he gave a sign of his hand in the cloud and Elijah said that is it I have been able to successfully transport realities from the realm of the spirit and they have entered the corridors of time and they have manifested in this realm and he told us saddle your ass for i hear in my spirit the sound of the abundance of rain the bible says the hand that he saw came upon him and he guarded his loins and on bare foot he began to run until he overtook the chariots of ahas while the disciples were journeying on the boat that's how many people are journeying through life they are using boats and they are moving they seem to be going ahead but like jesus we are staying behind our brain after six hours which is the number of man when his grace comes upon us we will get up and walk on the water while they are rowing their boat and facing the storms of life we will be walking as if satan does not exist I choose to be extraordinary I choose to be a sign and a wonder not because I'm a man of God I hope you know this has nothing to do with ministry too hot for the devil to earn that when they are enchanting things about you and they carry your picture to a shrine as soon as they call your name the fire that will come out there will be an eternal lesson that there are people and there are people the bible says there are many kinds of bodies there are celestial there are terrestrial not everybody is the same not everybody is the same the person who takes my picture to a herbalist my fear is not the person is the herbalist
can you be so much of a threat to the kingdom of darkness that even at your default state you are on fire hallelujah I listened to a tape by someone he's an evangelist and he used to be in the occult and this is what he told me he said Satan brings it's like a blanket the Bible says the God of this world the God of this system has blinded their minds hallelujah and then the blanket is over people and when they begin to pray what happens there is a breaking that's why sometimes when you start praying you see that you sense that there is a resistance you are struggling you are moving you don't even know what is happening in the spirit and sometimes you just feel like sleeping and some of you just start and later on you are still like clean the saliva and get up you will not go far that way brothers and sisters i won't lie to you anybody that tells you your prayer life is not important is the enemy you should be praying about hallelujah and while you pray there is the fire of the holy ghost i know you've had different teachings on fire one day i'll give you a scriptural teaching on fire fire is neither solid nor liquid are you listening to me fire is not threatened by anything you cannot box fire and put it in a hole you can't even catch it but you cannot resist the effect when you put your hand you can't hold fire you can't it's not solid so when you hear people say holy ghost fire i know that there are all kinds of exaggeration but brother there is a separate baptism called the baptism of fire he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and fire when that comes upon your life you enter the role of those who have registers in the realm of the spirit they are called touch not and that's what we want you to become you look at someone and they say this person has been oppressed by demons and you don't just sit and say hey, hey, hey what shall we do and then you're not just trying to activate your faith bring it out bring it out activate it no no you rise to a plane where as soon as you enter the room is the demons that will be negotiating they'll say we know you will cast us but we want to beg you can we give you where we want to go and you say go out just leave i was told that there was an event that happened in redeem camp some people gathered and they were praying over one demon possessed man and they spent hours because until you stand before the burning bush you cannot stand before pharaoh hallelujah and the man was peeling banana the white man wore his hat and he was just eating banana and he saw them struggling he said what's going on here he said we are trying he just came he tapped the man he told the demons out instantly all of them left see there are celestial beings there are terrestrial beings not everybody is equal in the spirit you may wear the same jeans 2005 you may buy the same polo shirt but when you begin to pray there is an earthquake in the spirit and they say whose voice is this because the bible says when the lepers the lepers in samaria they said why we sit here until we die let us get up in the spirit their sound was amplified and they had chariots that when you begin to pray they look at you in the spirit and say who is this man that looks like god that was the testimony of the three hebrew boys they said the fourth person we see standing looks like the son of god rise up on your feet Ah, hello him. Ah, hello him. 
Elohim Madonna. Elohim Madonna. Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Hallelujah The Lord is telling me that as we begin to pray many of you will activate the ministry of angels in your life Many of you have not really enjoyed the ministry of angels Are they not ministering spirits? sent to minister let me give you three testimonies quickly are you listening to me my first major encounter with the physical man I'm not talking of angels in the spirit now I was in Mararaba and we entered a bus. It was me and Manasseh. And I left my wallet in the bus and I came down. And now it was a busy market and everybody just left. And Manasseh took a bike to follow them. I left it. We all saw it inside. And when I just stood there, I wasn't praying. And the next thing I saw a man limping with my wallet. He came to me. He said, take. Literally. Literally. Hallelujah. We went for crusade in Pangshin 2006 or 7. As soon as we went to the venue, a man walked up to me and said, go around the city publicizing. Just use a loudspeaker. Go around the city. And I, I, I saw him walking and I turned to do something. And when I turned back, I did not see him again. Don't you think everybody in this auditorium is a human being? You will be misled. There are times that I preach and I see that some of the people sitting inside and outside are angels. The moment I see them in the spirit, they stand up and they walk away. It's just that we don't share experiences. I'm telling you, the Bible says he are common to Mount Zion. Some of you finish koinonia and someone just holds your hands. The Bible says, be good to all men. For in this, some of you have entertained angels unaware. You have entered buses with them from CGC down to Northgate. You gisted with them. From the day you met them, something happened to you in the night. You could not explain. You saw some faces in koinonia you have never seen again. You came late and you wanted to leave. You know that all the ushers were inside. Suddenly you saw another usher telling you, why don't you come and sit down? And they gather all the ushers. You cannot see the person again. Many of us have not activated ourselves in the place of prayer to begin to respond. Kenneth E. Hagin walked in a realm where he enjoyed the ministry of angels. They would come in his meeting and he would look at them. And say hi how are you and call their names do you know that one angel destroyed an entire battalion of armies one and there are all kinds of angels there are ministering spirits there is the northern army of the lord who will take time in a prayer series if we take it again and will teach on angels he said oh daniel from the first day that you did set your face to pray he said your request was heard and while he was coming 
he was interrupted in the second heavens because the prince the spiritual wickedness that governs the territory of Pasha stopped him and because it was not in the office of Gabriel to fight he could not do anything until Michael the archangel came to the rescue and he said I am come to bring the understanding every time there are shiftings in the spirit Satan does not understand timings but he can see an unusual manifestation of the angelic and he knows that angels respond to the pleadings of the Lord especially when messenger angels begin to come they come into your life when seasons are shifting when Gabriel came to Mary it was a season in her life when he came to Zacharias he said I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of the Lord I like you to pray and say Lord tonight I activate the ministry of angels lift your voice and pray by the power of the Holy Ghost let the angels of the Lord basata bakata randa bareke bos mambra teke boshia the angel of the Lord and come them that fear him I activate the ministry of angels I activate the ministry of angels angels of finances miracle angels breakthrough angels worship angels to bring songs to bring skills angels of understanding the northern army of the Lord the ministering spirits hallelujah listen hallelujah hear me if you're a minister of the gospel here let me teach you a secret have you ever had people pray a prayer and say I position the angels of my anointing have you ever had church prayers one scripture turn with me to revelations one thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head hallelujah let me show you a powerful mystery the bible says in psalm 103 that the angels of god who excel it in strength who confirms the words of his messengers quickly revelations 1 verse 1 the revelation of jesus christ which god gave unto him so god gave him a ministry was the ministry to show to reveal unto his servants things which must surely come to pass listen and he sent and signified it by what he said his angel the angel of the one who the message was given to that means an angel was sent every time God gives you a message every time God gives you a teaching there are angels that are sent with that revelation the job of those angels is to stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost to ensure that the words gain performance in your life and so they stop the cohorts of darkness that will want to come and steal the seed of God's word in you that's why some of you while you are listening you want to get up and go out suddenly you find out that something will keep you back the angels the angels of the Lord and then while sitting a revelation will hit your spirit and that ends it or a word of knowledge is about to be given to you and demons want to distract you as soon as you go out you will see your friend coming and he will just drag you or you will stand and literally feel a resistance we are going to pray and say Lord there are angels you have assigned to my life to my destiny to my ministry Lord I pray right now may they be activated to the fullness of their ministry go ahead and pray William Brown had an angel that would come to give him uncommon insight and understanding. Are you praying? Rata baka shata balaraba. Randa proska baji de man. Sata kata balaraba. Rakata baka tabalaraba. Lord, we activate the angelic. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. We activate the angelic by the power of the Holy Ghost. Angels that follow this ministry, we activate you. The angels assigned to Koinonia, we activate you to bring healing, to bring breakthrough, to bring prosperity in the name of Jesus. The angel that follow everyone in Koinonia, let them be activated. Please pray over your family. There are angels. Declare and say, let there be the activity of angels in my family, bringing finances, bringing healing. Angels of revelation and understanding. Angels of worship. The Northern Army. The angels of the Lord that excel in strength. We permit your ministry in Koinonia. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. We permit your ministry. Breakthrough, healing, deliverance. Cause testimonies to abound. Let lives be changed. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Sing it with all your heart. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory. You're the lifter up of my head. Say thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. That's what has happened to you. Thank you for lifting. My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. your hands I want to pray that an impartation of the spirit will come upon you hallelujah I tell you the angels listen the angels in this place are more than the people here hallelujah I will pray expect something to happen to you Expect fire, expect an anointing because I see the fire of the Lord upon my hand. That's what I see the fire of the Lord, and He tells me, Release it. And so I release it right now. Now let it move across my left and my right by the ministry of the angelic. Now, all over the building, move. Now, power of God. Let there be an activity of the angelic right now across the building by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Let the fire touch everyone. Stay anointing. Stay gifting. Feel your work. Shake it. Side of the congregation, lift your hands. I stretch my hands. Let the fire come upon you now. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take it, take it. I break up the book. The book here. Angels of the Lord, move and put the crowns that you show me upon the heads of men. Crowns, crowns, crowns. The Lord shows me crowns. Upon the heads of men. Everything that has li limited you. In the name that is above all names. I 
command that limitation to disappear from your life forever I need you to shout your amen like you believe it I command every infirmity that is in your body I curse it from its root be free from it now in the name of Jesus everyone marked for death here whether by sickness by the sword by accidents I lift that ban over your life in the name of Jesus I command the fountains of favor to break open in your life right now receive favor financial favor favor of destiny help us in the name of Jesus I declare over your life that any habit and any lifestyle that has challenged you that you are tired of let it fall from your life now in the name of Jesus hallelujah every tongue that rises up against you I command right now the Bible says in Job 5 he said he will deliver you from the scorching tongues of men I command that every tongue that rises up against you will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus I command the Lord to judge evil doers in your life in the name of Jesus every level you would have been right now that Satan stopped you from coming right now by the power the spirit that came upon Elijah that caused him to run I invoke from the realm of the spirit let there be acceleration to your life in the name of Jesus hallelujah every dead prayer life in this place five minutes prayer two minutes prayer I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus every appetite and loss for sin loss for evil loss for immorality whether it be money ladies men whatever I curse it in the name of Jesus the grace to live a life of true holiness and righteousness the grace to say no to everything that is not consistent with God's word I release it upon you in the name of Jesus hallelujah for the Bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place he said he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sword deceitfully he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation hallelujah every kind of addiction in this place whether it's drinking womanizing falsehood whatever it is you are free from it right now and forever I release angelic encounters in your life you will see them in your dreams they will give you direction they will tell you secrets they will show you mysteries about the world mysteries about your life in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray for you that as you walk out of this place tonight you become a literal manifestation of signs and wonders go and do the things that you could not do go and lay hands on the sick and watch them recover go and cast out devils Go and win souls people who you are preached to 
that refuse to get born again go back again with this anointing and you will win them over your family members no matter how hardened they are in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are many of you who are timid you have complex you don't believe in yourself right now in the name that is above every other name you laugh but you are suffering complex you always think you will not amount to anything or you think and it makes you always offensive at others in the name that is above all names for god has not given us the spirit of timidity but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind by the power of the holy ghost let inferiority and complex the lies that satan has spoken to you that keeps you where you are i curse it in the name of jesus whatever testimony is still pending in your life i pull it from the realm of the spirit and i release it to your life receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus I speak over your life and your destiny no one will terminate your destiny in the name of Jesus every pronouncement that has been made upon your life I declare as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives I command a new beginning for you those pronouncements come to null and void in the name of Jesus whatever mindset that Satan has used as a stronghold in your life that you don't want to let go but is stopping you from entering the blessings of God I shatter that stronghold in the name of Jesus for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ go and enjoy the favor of the Lord go and enjoy the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus let the word of God come alive let there be unusual understanding that right now as you study the word something will happen to your spirit man unusual insights you will learn things you were not taught by anybody receive it in the name of Jesus the spirit of wisdom the spirit of revelation the spirit of understanding let the bread of the spirit be broken let your eyes be open I take away the fail from your eyes grace to walk in obedience to God's word in the name of Jesus give God a shout of praise come on give him a shout of praise hallelujah